Hey, something violent just made it to video. Here's your spooky spot on the Spirit Halloween Terrifier Spirit Video Gems. Get a good look at this. Six items inside for one great price. This is the Spirit Collector's Box, which, in fact, we've actually looked at a couple already here on this channel. Just reach off to the side here, put down Terrifier. Going to bring in the ones we've already had a look at and earlier reviews from last year, in fact. We look at the It Chapter 2, and we also looked at Trick or Treat. I think somewhere also in there as well, we also had a look at the Halloween 2. Of course, now we're looking at Terrifier. Terrifier, as far as I know, wasn't there last year, but it was one of the new selections of collector's cases that they had available this year at stores. It does have reversal package art. Um, one thing I really like about those, it does look like the old clamshell cases you'd see at the old Strip Plaza video stores. On the back, Terrifier. Meet Art the Clown, a silent but menacing clown who terrorizes a small town on Halloween night. As Art wreaks havoc, two unsuspecting young women become the primary targets. In a sadistic game of cat and mouse, Art leaves a trail of brutal violence and gore in his wake. Written, co-produced, and directed by Damien Leon, uh, produced by Phil Falcone, Terrifier is known for its disturbing atmosphere, chilling suspense, and graphic horror elements, making it a gripping yet thrilling experience for fans of the genre. Good, actually, perfect time that we're looking at this case as well with the new release of, of Terrifier 3 in the theaters. Have you seen Terrifier 3? Let me know down below in the comments section. But a neat looking case nonetheless. It does have included inside a one patch, uh, two buttons, two decals, and one lanyard. I know some would say that this is pretty expensive. I mean, if you're looking at the price of these, these are $18.99. Now, $18.99 could be a, a easier pill to swallow if you happen to have one of those 20% off Spirit Halloween coupons. Because I was actually buying this along with something that was more expensive that you may or may not have already seen here on this channel recently, I ended up having to pay the full price. I suppose in hindsight, I probably could have been the one that walked out the door, walked back in the door, and then been one of those jerk uh, customers that, of course, then use the coupon again. Because, you know, it's usually like one per customer per one coupon per customer, one per visit. Anyways, we're, we're not going to do that, though. Uh, nice looking case, though. Again, it kind of has that old kind of aged VHS store look to it. And of course, it is reversible as well. In order for me to reverse anything, it actually does have, I may have to reach off to the side and grab my knife here. McCutcheons. McCutcheons will be joining us. And there is a, I haven't yet done this because I wanted to leave this sort of for the unbagging of this or the unboxing of this, but there is a tab right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I don't even know. Is there tape there? Oh, my eyes. I can't even see that or not. Oh, maybe it's just a case of opening this up. At the time of actually picking this up, there was also one other video case uh, that I was really interested in, and I bought that at the same time. I'm not going to show you guys what that is. You guys will just have to wait and see for yourself. Maybe we'll uh, put these ones up just over here. I'm going to have myself somewhat of a serviceable video store happening right now. Love the, like the old world print, like the old looking print here. And of course, you never forget your first kill. Uh, if you are familiar with these, you know that the case opens up and that inside you get yourself a cardboard VHS tape. Now, this is everything that's going to be holding the contents of the collectibles. I'm going to put that off to the side. I'm just actually curious to see what the reversible case is. I, I can't see how it would be any bit better than this, but we might have something that looks a little bit more like the original poster art. We're going to pull this out. And this is what the insert's going to look like. This is what the backside's going to look like. So it is essentially just the exact same thing. The only thing it doesn't have is it doesn't have the six items for one great price. Doesn't Does it have the horror sticker? Doesn't have the horror sticker on the other side as well. I mean, that looks also good, just as good as well. I kind of like that it has a little bit more of an age on this side. The only thing it does give away as a dead as a dead giveaway that it does have collectibles inside and not a VHS tape is it has this little sticker. If you can overlook that, though, I think that's the better cover than that cover. Which one? Which one do you like better? Let me know down below. But uh, so what we'll do is we'll put this back into the case. Slide this in carefully. Yeah, actually, you know what? Spirit Halloween had a whole slew of these right at the edge of their checkout. Uh, it's what they consider impulse items, impulse items, where essentially you walk through and as you're kind of walking through like the catacombs, like a little maze of different shelving to get to the register. You can't just walk directly to the register. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. That's not how retail re re reels you in. Uh, you have to kind of walk around things and there's always like impulse items, candy bars, blind bag things. Spirit Halloween is masters of this. So as you're walking around, these were actually sitting on the shelves just before you make the turn. Not that I'm really telling you guys, like it, it doesn't really matter. Somebody would say, oh, wait a minute, I went to that store. 
and it wasn't in the same place where you said, and I'd have to say, well, did you go to this store? Oh, no, no, no. I thought you were talking about the store in, uh, I don't know, some random location. But anyways, I'm going to keep the case the way that it is with this insert. I'm going to put that right over there. Let's bring actually the camera just down a little bit. And of course, we've got ourselves the VHS tape. Now, it's not a real VHS tape, although they have done all the things that would indicate that this would be. Like, it's not rated. Please rewind videotape. It has sort of like the look of an old sticker. And also has, of course, Terrifier featured on the front. If we open this up, where's the top of this? I guess it would be right up here. Open up the front flap. And let's dump out all the contents and see what art-inspired things we have. I want to make sure I have everything else out. Now, even with the, uh, these other cases, even when I have taken out all the collectibles, let's put that down here for a second. Even when I've taken out all the collectibles, I still end up keeping the case inside. So there's there's trick or treat. And uh, we'll also show you guys what it looks like. I also have Halloween 2 around somewhere. I don't even know where, where it is. And that's uh, it, chapter two. So I keep them all in the cases. Let's have a look at the things that we actually got inside. So the first thing we have is a Terrifier patch. That's good if you have yourself a, a, de a jean jacket, a denim jacket. Hey, why not? Yeah, sold that on the side. Very, very cool. I like how they've also outlined that in red. Red seems to be Art's color, even though he's really black and white. He just loves red. Terrifier feature down below as well. I want to see that, what that looks like out. Okay, we'll see. I mean, the instructions are also here on the back. This is one of those things where you'd have to heat the iron. I think you usually put like a cloth. Do you put a cloth? 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 Ah, yeah. You put a lightweight press cloth over the top of the patch so it just isn't going to absorb all the heat and then that's going to adhere to uh you know your, your jean jacket or, or vest if you have a, a denim vest that's not a bad thing either so that's what it's going to look like i would think you would all admit that that's a pretty good looking patch worth though the 18 dollars 99 18 or 18.95 or whatever this was going for i uh, also got myself a couple of pins there's this pin right here terrifier and then uh terrifier of course art the con feature on both I like that one. That's that's a really neat looking pin. Perhaps that could go in the same place as your patch. Just have an all art inspired denim jacket. And then the other things that we got inside here as well. Everything, of course, has to be inside bags is your lanyard. So on one side, we've got Art the Clown kind of as a rubbery collectible piece. And everything, of course, is attached to a lanyard that has Terrifier. And then we've got ourselves the lanyard that you can put your ID into, a membership card if you're part of like the... I don't know, Art the Clown fan club. You could also carry this around as well. Proudly, proudly around your neck as well. Um, it does detach. So if you wanted to use your tag, you know, take your card off and, you know, just you know, punch in. <laughs> I don't know why you'd be, not that you'd be punching into the building using a Terrifier Art the Clown card, but you could do that. And that just reattaches. I think that's it. Is that, that is that is that everything? I'm just looking at the contents here. Six items. So let's just count these off. I guess you could really say that this is one item and then this is one item. So that's that's two. And then we got two. That's five. And then we got six or five. Is that right? Let me just do this again. One, two, three, four, five. What's is there something that's missing? I feel like there's perhaps that something's missing. Looking on the back here again. Yeah, where's the decal? Where is the decal? We got a patch. We got two buttons. We got the lanyard. Where's where's the? Uh, unless I missed it. Was it, maybe perhaps I missed something else inside. Oh, I did. There it is. Hello there. Let's just reach that and pull that out. All right. So we got two stickers. It's kind of weird the way they've placed that. Then so you have a knife, and then you've got the art, the clown print. Finding, finding, finding. There it is, right there. Opening this up. Okay, so we've got this, Art the Clown, which is basically that image there featured on the front of the box. And then you've got this really kind of interesting looking knife, Art the Clown. Whoosh. I gotta say, that was big relief on this guy's shoulders. I was worried that I was missing something inside the case. So yeah, two stickers. Uh, where are we? Two buttons, two buttons. And then of course we got ourselves the lanyard and the patch. You know, again, like, I don't know, some could say that's pretty steep. You wasted your money. I would disagree with you, sir. I would say, you know what? I didn't necessarily waste the money because at the end of the day, I got myself a pretty cool looking Terrifier case that could then go in theory on the shelf with all of my rest of my VHS collector's cases we got from Spirit Halloween. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. First of all, what was the best item inside this? Was it the stickers? Was it the pins? Was it the lanyard? Let me know what your favorite thing was. And also tell me down below if you think that this is worth the price that these things go for. Because again, I think these sell for around $18 in stores. It certainly would be a whole lot less if you happen to have yourself, hey, 20% off coupon. 
keep always your peepers peeled online because Spirit Halloween, especially if you follow them on Instagram, you can always see a pe periodically every once in a while, you'll see that 20% off coupon pop up, screenshot it. And of course, then you can use it inside the stores. But uh, today though, today's spooky spot, we were having a look at the Spirit Halloween Terrifier Spirit Video Gems. And of course, we were then be joined by a couple of other cases that we looked at in earlier years. As I did already say, I have picked up two of these. Both of them obviously aren't terrified. That would just be, that'd be silly. I did pick up this one. I also picked up another one that I didn't happen to have seen last year. So of course that will be coming your way. In the meantime though, if you guys did again, enjoy this video, do it a solid, hit a like. If you guys want to stick around for more so, I hope so. Hit the subscribe, turn on that bell. And of course the most important thing is that you're coming back. There's a lot more videos coming your way during the month of Spottober. So thanks for watching. See you guys next time.